Hello friends. Hope everyone will be fine. So today I have brought you a movie based on real incidents called Eden. This is the best movie on a real incident. So if you are not on the channel or have not subscribed to that channel, then subscribe to the channel now and turn on the able notification. At the start of the movie, a girl named Jay was tied in the trunk of a car. Her hands, feet and mouth were all tied. She was trying to escape but the kidnapper was smoking cigarettes outside and he closes the trunk of the car back. Now the movie comes one day before this incident. This was in 1994, where there was a teenage girl named Jay, who used to work at her family's restaurant and used to smoke cigarettes with her friend Amy. Amy asks her to walk to the bar in the evening and he had a fake ID card to go to the bar because Jay still wasn't 18 years old. Jay's father knew that she smokes cigarettes, but he doesn't tell her mom. He shows a sweet relationship between the two of them. His father gives her a ring which was a sign of his ancestors. Now Amy and Jay go to the bar with their fake IDs at night because Jay was not yet 18 years old and this was a new experience for her. When he takes both shots there, Amy sees a charming boy who was wearing a firefighter's dress and offers her a drink. After that, they both have a conversation and Amy leaves them alone to talk. Then now this boy was offering a ride to leave Jay home. Both of them travel to Jay's house by car, but before reaching Jay's house, this guy stops the car in the middle and starts kissing her and Jay does not like it and the boy gets off the car and goes to talk to someone sitting in the rear car. Which Jay finds very strange and she sees the car in which she is seated. It has many uniforms of that guy, which are fake and she tries to escape. And so soon the man grabs her and suddenly everything becomes blank. The scene is cut off and falls on a police officer who was going to a farm. There were already two officers there and they found the dead body of a girl. The girl also had a tracker on her leg and the police investigation could not proceed so Wav kills both of those present there. The scene comes back to Jay who was now sitting in a truck and there were many other girls there. She did not know what was going to happen to her. Then the truck comes to a place where a man drags her out. Now she was in an operation theater where an old nurse comes who injects Jay and she was just screaming out of fear. When Jay sleeps, she was in a small room where many other girls were on the bunk bed. Then there is some announcement and we see that there are not one or two but many girls whose age ranges from young to old and they have also been kidnapped here. He wore only name clothes and here comes Wove, which gifts something to everyone. Jay was still inside, she doesn't come out and see what's going on. Wove gives everyone a kitten to the girls. Jay still doesn't come out and Bob doesn't give him a few days to adapt to this environment. Now the next day she was in the bathroom with the rest of the girls, she goes to the bath. After which a nurse was checking all the girls and then some drugs are given to those girls. Everyone has their lunch and all the girls were playing with their cat because they had only one happiness in their lives. Like a few days go by and one day a man named Vogue comes there and selects some girls and takes them somewhere. And Jay is also selected in them. She was being put in a van and taken to an unknown place. She was brought back to one place wearing a leather dress and tied in front of the camera. Whatever was happening to Jay was wrong for her and she had to do it forcefully. It was being recorded. Moreover, she had to provide service to his clients she did not. Even think so this night Jay starts crying bitterly in front of his roommate Princella. Now a few days later Vogue was taking her alone for her job and its client invited Jay in schoolgirl dress. The client's name was John and he was married and his daughter was also Jay's age. Vogue was leaving her alone and going to the bathroom and taking drugs. Then he gets the sound of shouting over there. He sees that John is lying on the ground and Jay herded him and ran away. Jay had cut off John's private part and her mouth was turning red with blood. Her clothes were completely open and she was running away but Vogue now catches her. Jay entered a house where two ladies were enjoying a lot and Vogue tells them that he is a police officer who has come to catch drug addict Jay Vogue brings Jay back and punishment is given to Jay, in which he ties her up and puts her in a tub filled with ice and leaves her like this for the whole night. Then Bob insults Vogue for this action and gives a slap, 
Now we see that one year passes. Jay also forgets her family and accepts her new life and now her name was changed from Jay to Eden. She was being given injections continuously. There Prinsla became her best friend and we see that there was a beautiful girl named Lara, who had Jay's ring in her hand, which was given to her by her's father. Jay tells Prinsla that she is now 19 years old, and Prinsla said how she survived here because such young girls are disappeared from here. Then a man comes from there, and drags Prinsula away. In the evening, we see that J.I.E. Eden is sent back to her clients to satisfy them. But this time this party was very big, Jay's dress was also different and she went as a Chinese girl and we see that Jay was perfect in doing this work in one year. Now when returning back, she breaks her heel in the van and hides it. When Eden comes into the room, she sees that Prinsula was nowhere to be seen. Perhaps she may have been killed and thrown away. Eden attacks Lara by taking out her hidden sandals at night and takes back the ring given by her dad. Guards come there and rescue them. Then Vogue drags Eden to another room and Vogue was impressed by Eden, so he asks Eden to swallow his ring as a punishment. Eden has to do this under compulsion. Vogue felt that Eden was stronger than his age and Eden starts crying for his sympathy and says that whatever other girls said behind Vogue's back that he is just a servant here, Eden was trying to trap him, but Vogue does not get stuck. Now after a few days Eden is taken to the party with the rest of the girls, where she was supposed to serve. After the party is over, Vogue asks the host for payment and then host asks him to deduct some money. Both of them are altercation and Vogue intimidates him with its gun and takes the rest of the payment. At night, Eden goes to the toilet, where she retrieves her ring, which she had swallowed at the behest of Vogue. Which she washes and wears back because that is how she knew about her old life and parents. Everything was slowly changing for Eden. Vogue did not send it to the client and take it to his house where he cleans it. There he gets a photo of Vogue's childhood as well as the man who implicated Eden i.e. KJ, where all the girls were kept. It was a large warehouse where they used to carry out prostitution work. Lara got a job attending customer calls, but Vogue now assigns that job to Eden, which angers Lana. And everyone was understanding that Vogue is now coming closer to Eden. Eden does her job well enough to win his trust. Now we see that Bob is in a seminar and he is giving a speech on human trafficking and drugs, after which he meets an officer who was working on human trafficking. So he asks Bob about the case when two police officers were killed, which Bob actually did, and the girl found there had a tracker on his feet, so that the real culprit could be reached. After hearing all this, Bob realized that it was going to be difficult for him. Here Vogue takes Eden with him somewhere where Bob was waiting for him. Vogue's van also had two dead bodies, which he had brought for disposal them and one of them was Lara's corpse. They bring it to the middle of the lake and put it in the water and once again Bob insults Vogue, which makes him angry and attacks Bob from behind. And hides Bob's dead body. After a few days he takes Eden to an unknown home where people knew what they had done to Bob. Eden now had to go to the washroom and she goes inside and sees that there was a small operation theater in that house. Eden also sees the door of a room open where Priscilla was inside and she was pregnant. Priscilla was brought there a few months back, but Eden was not sure why Priscilla was kept there like this. When Priscilla tries to shout, Eden walks out asking her to shut up. Where everyone was watching the news, which reported that Bob died. On his way back Eden was driving and Vogue asks him if she saw anything in the house and Eden only tells him about the operation theater. Vogue still felt strange and he asks her to stop the car and then take out a girl from Van and ask Eden to kill her and if she does not do so, she will have to kill herself. Eden had no other choice and hence it pulls the trigger. But in reality there was no bullet in that gun. Vogue was simply checking Eden's trust. Everything had changed after killing Bob. That warehouse was now taken care of, by Vogue. And he used to punish his guards. Vogue was shifting that warehouse elsewhere because the police could now reach them. Here Eden goes to the nurse who takes her to a storage house. Where the girls had old belongings, all the girls were being transported somewhere in the truck, but there was no Eden in this truck. 
Vogue says that Eden is very lucky because she is not going with those girls but she is with Vogue. Vogue wanted to celebrate with drugs. But first he goes to the bathroom and this was the chance for Eden to do something. When Vogue is in the bathroom, Eden brings cockroach killer spray from the kitchen and sprays it into the drug pipe of the Vo. And after drinking it, Vogue was unconscious. Then Eden cuts the tracker on his foot and takes the Vogue case and takes some injections from there. And she runs away from there with a Vogue car but she does not go to her house. She first goes to the house where pregnant Princela was imprisoned and the man who imprisoned Princela, she asks the man to release her in exchange for money, but that man does not agree and that is why Eden kills him with that injection. Now Eden frees Princela from that captivity and both of them were going by car. Then Eden stops the car on the road and calls her house by public phone. Eden's parents recognize her by hearing her voice, who had been waiting for her for not knowing how long time. Then they call her by her real name Jay and Eden was just crying because it had been a long time since she heard her real name from someone's mouth. And this is where this movie ends. Friends, this movie is based on the life of Jong Kim which is the real Jae Kim was born in South Korea and was kidnapped from the USA. Today Jong Kim is active and works against human trafficking. Friends, Kim survived, but it is worth wondering what happened to the rest of the girls, so it happens every day in many countries as well. Friends, I hope you like the video, if you like the video, don't forget to the like and subscribe my channel because I will come back with another video.